Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to my lecture <coughs> course that is uh, aspects of biochemical engineering. In the uh, last uh, lecture, you may remember that uh, I tried to discuss how to analyze the different type of reactions. So, we have a basic formulation that we have that we shall have to re remember before we analyze any kind of reactor that uh, rate of input plus rate of uh, um, that uh, rate of input plus rate of uh, that uh, generation equal to rate of uh, rate of uh, uh, output plus rate of disappearance plus rate of accumulation now what i told you that uh, in case of this steady state conditions the rate of accumulation should be equal to zero now, what do you mean by steady state condition? When the concentration in different portion of the reactor remain unchanged with respect to uh, time. So, that is the steady stand that is only possible when a rate of accumulation is 0. So, this is the equation. So, our equation is the rate of input plus rate of generation equal to rate of output plus rate of disappearance plus rate of uh, accumulation. So, this is the basic equation we have. Now, when we analyze the reactor, I, I told you, we shall have to consider only one parameter. As for example, suppose we are using any kind of microbial system. So, we, are, we have three different things simultaneously take place. One is the substrate degradation, another is cell mass formation, and there is your product formation. So, we can, can do the analysis with respect to uh, anything with respect to uh, substrate. So, when we, when we do, do the substrate balance, then will be rate of substrate input plus rate of substrate generation equal to rate of substrate output plus rate of substrate um, disappearance plus rate of accumulation. Same thing happened to products, same thing happened to your uh, cell mass. And, but you know, if we, we can do the analysis with respect to energy also, rate of energy input plus rate of energy generation equal to rate of energy output plus rate of energy disappearance plus rate of uh, accumulation of the energy. So, this is the basic idea that is basic uh, equation that we use for the analysis of the reactor and I told you that uh, whatever reactor we have broadly it can be divided into two types one is batch another is continuous we we use the fed batch reactor while we have the substrate inhibition problem now in the in the batch reactor that uh, we take the as i told you is take the substrate at a time allow it to react after the reaction is over you take it out in between you are not putting anything uh, to inside the reactor and you are not taking anything out of the reactor but in a continuous system, I told you that you initially, particularly if you look at CSTR, first we operate in a, in a batch mode, let the reaction take place. When the rate of reaction is maximum, then we start feeding one end and take, take the product from other end. So, for whatever flow rate we have, uh, have in, inlet, that same flow rate we will maintain in the outlet, so that volume of the reactor remain constant. Now, today uh, I want to discuss some kind of numerical problems, so that your conception of the process will be very clear, because what we are interested, we are interested to know a uh, couple of things, we are interested to know uh, what is the percentage conversion take place during this uh, uh, process. Also, we want to know what is the volume of the particular reactor. Uh, for uh, whenever you go for batch process, whenever you come, go for continuous process. Uh, now, before we, I go to the PPT slides, that let me let me give, show you something, so that it can help you for understanding the process. 
Now I told you if you when you go uh, talk about the batch process, the T batch. I told you this is equal to what? This is equal to uh, that uh, minus DCA. Suppose the reaction is A to B divided minus R A. So this is like this. Now <coughs> this is C A zero and this is C A. Now I told you C A equal to C A zero into one minus X A. X A is the fraction of X that is converted. So I can write C A D C A equal to C A zero. C A zero is a constant. I can write this is equal to x. So, this same equation we can write in the dxa form like this dxa by minus ra and they are 0 to xa. This is this is what we do. Now, when you uh, suppose uh, when you talk about the design of the reactor, first we shall have to have the basis and what is the basis? Suppose we want a certain amount of product formation. Let us assume we want to produce 100 kg of product. The once we want to know the 100 kg of product formation, first we shall have to find out from the stoichiometry for producing 100 percent, 100 kg of product, what, uh, what is the substrate required. So, there will be some kind of stoichiometry between the substrate and the product formation. So, with the respect to the stoichiometry, we can find out amount of substrate required. Now, this might be this is with respect to day, am I right? So, per day you want to produce, so this also you can you can say per day how much substrate is required. Now, from the stoichiometry we find out the theoretical amount of substrate required, but in practice we might be requiring little bit more. So, you have to you have to divide by the conversion efficiency percentage conversion efficiency. So, suppose percentage conversion efficiency is 95 percent, so we divide by 0.95. So, this is how we can we can, but you know question come how you find the volume of the batch reactor. So, what I what we shall have to do, uh, we know that the main bottleneck of the batch process is the downtime because suppose this is a batch and and after after the after the operation is over, you have to take the product out, again clean the vessel and then you have to refill the vessel. So, that requires some time. So, T total equal to T batch plus T downtime. So, you know that, uh, so if we know, so what I want to tell you that when you cal when you find out the volume of the batch reactor, of the batch reactor, we shall have to first calculate how much batch we can operate per day, the number of batch per day. Then from that we shall have to find out that how much substrate, how then we, we, we shall have to find out how much substrate is required, substrate is required per batch and then we can, we can find out the volume of the reactor. So, when you, when you want to find out T total, what you have to, first you have to calculate T batch and I showed you the T batch is what? T batch equal to minus d c a by minus r a. So, from that c a 0 to c a you can easily find out that you know that what is the what is the this uh, batch uh, time required and you you assume some time time and then you find t total. Now, number of batch how you can calculate? How you can calculate? This is equal to suppose per day you have given 24 hours. So, number of batch is the t total. Suppose this is true and in the in the basis we have taken the 100 kg of product per day from that you can find out how, how much substrate is required per day and from that since uh, since we have uh, since uh, we have uh, two two batches so amount of 
amount of product per batch will be what per batch equal to 50 kg am i right 100 100 kg divided by 2 number of batch is 2 if we assume this per batch so from that you can find out how much substrate is required and if you know the substrate required then uh, you divide by initial substrate concentration you will get the volume so this is how you can find out the volume of the batch process now if you, if you look at uh, the volume of the continuous process like tau CSTR is equal to what is equal to CA0 minus CA by minus RA. So, RA you can easily find out from rate of reaction you know from the percentage conversion you can find out what is the CA0 and CA value from that you can find out this is equal to this is equal to what V by F. So, F you can find out from the amount of suppose uh, we, we want to produce 100 kg of product per day. So, from that you can find out how much uh, how much uh, kg of substrate you required per day. So, uh, you, if you know initial substrate concentration is 0, so you can find out this is flow rate volume per unit per time. So, you can put this value, you can put this, uh, this tau CSTR, calculate tau CSTR value, you can find out the volume of the same thing happens, same thing applicable for tau plug flow reactor. Tau plug flow reactor is what this is same as batch process divided by DCA by minus RA. So, if you know this and same correlation is whole good you find out the F in the same same way you can find out the volume of the reactor. So, <coughs> now let me take the uh, first problem. The first problem deals with uh, a homogeneous liquid phase reaction A to B and this is a uh, second order reaction minus R A equal to K, K into C A T S to the power 2 T take place with a 50 percent conversion in a CSTR. What will be the conversion if the reactor is replaced by 6 times as larger all else remains unchanged and what is the second part? Second part is that what will be the conversion if the original reactor is replaced by the plug flow reactor and all else remains constant. So, you have two different approaches is the one first case what we want to do we want to increase the volume of the reactor of the CSTR 6 times and second case uh, we want to replace the CSTR by plug flow reactor two different approach we want to uh, find out how the conversion efficiency changes let us let us work on that. So, first uh, we, we have in this problem if you look at uh, it is given here what is given 50 percent conversion of substrate am I right? A 50 percent conversion of substrate means x a is 0 0.5 x a is 0 0.5 what is x a? x a I told you previously several times uh, this c a 0 minus c a by c a 0 this is x a. Now, what is the equation that we have tau CSTR equal to I told you tau CSTR equal to C A 0 minus C A by R A. Now, this is equal to C A 0 into X A by R A. So, this is how it has come and then this is the uh, rate of reaction that K into C A square and this is this, this should be equal to V by F what I told you. Uh, previously. Now, uh, then uh, we can analyze, we can analyze the reactor like this C A 0 into x in the k into C A 0 1 minus x where that you know that um, that whole square we can find out this is equal to this and uh, finally, we can come this uh, expression because C A 0 1 C A 0 will can cancel. So, 1 C A 0 will remain here. Now, put the value here you can 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 per 50 percent conversion. Then we have here, here we have uh, this uh, equation we have 2 by uh, k C A 0 V by the now, now in this problem what uh, first part 
we want to increase the volume of the reactor six times. Am I right? So see uh, the the your your now new volume will be six into VCSTR. VCSTR was the previous volume, and six times we want to increase. Let us assume the conversion efficiency at that time is X A, and this is like this. This is the equation, same equation we what we have written previously that we can write here. Then this uh, this equation we can write the expression like this. This is equal to six uh, because V C S T R uh, uh, by this uh, this is uh, we can we have already written this is equal to th this uh, six into two by uh, k k. I can I can show you this is this is what we have written. Now. So this is uh, this is what. So this is we had we cal we have calculated previously. This is the new approaches that we have. This is equal to this. Now this equal to what? This equal to two by k c a zero. So this we can we can we can do it here. So we uh, this is how it has come. This is uh, this is come. So we can solve this quadratic equation. We find two values. One is 0.75 and 1.33. Now more than conversion efficiency, more than 100% uh, is not possible. So we take 75%. So X A is the 75% when we replace by the. So previously <laughs> the conversion was 50%, and when we increase the volume of uh, this six times, then conversion will be. Seventy-five percent. So this is how we can solve this equation. Next part uh, is very interesting. That if what I am saying that uh, if uh, a CSTR is replaced by the plug flow reactor. Now, what is the expression for plug flow reactor? Is this one? So we can solve this equation like this because we know this is k into c a zero square one minus x a whole square. So this will come here, and then we we can this is equal to uh, uh, this v by f, and this is equal to that. In in case of CSTR, it is like this. We 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 told that uh, everything is remain constant. So we can equal to like this if everything is constant. How it how uh, what will be the conversion in the in the in the plug flow reactor now if we equilibrate this then we find this this uh, mm, uh, 2 by k into c0 1 by k k into c0 x a 1 minus x equal to then we can solve this equation this 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 will cancel this this will cancel then only one equation one unknown we can easily solve uh, the x a value so we find the 67% uh, uh, will be the conversion if we CSTR replaced by the plug flow reactor. So initially, that in case of CSTR is 50% conversion. Now, if you replace the same thing by the plug flow reactor, it is increased to 67%. So you you give the some kind of uh, impression that uh, how uh, what happens if the CSTR is replaced by the six times CSTR, the volume of the reactor is re replaced by uh, increased by six times. What will how the conversion efficiency uh, changes? And uh, and second case, we try to find out if the CSTR is replaced by the plug flow reactor, how, how the con conversion efficiency changes. Now, next problem also very important. Let us uh, walk with the next problem. Uh, this is uh, this is like this. This is you see the aqueous uh, feed A and B. This is the uh, feed flow rate is given 400 liter per minute, and what is the A concentration? 100 millimoles A per liter, and what is the B concentration? 200 millimoles B uh, per liter, and to be converted in the CSTR. So here I want to tell you one thing. That when your reaction is A plus B equal to R, that means that indicate one mole of A react with one mole of B to give the one mole of R. So this is the stoichiometry is like this. So here in this in this uh, in this particular case, so your concentration of A is less as compared to concentration of 
b. So, limiting factor is the a that we should remember. So, <coughs> Uh, the, this uh, the, the kinetics of the represented by this equation. So, find uh, the volume needed for 99.9 percent .9 conversion of A. Since uh, this is the limiting factor, so uh, with this problem is the to convert 99.9 .9 percent of A, what should be the volume of the previous problem was uh, that what is the percentage conversion efficiency. Now, in this problem, we have given that uh, if uh, we know the percentage conversion efficiency, what will be the volume of reactor? Let us see how we can solve it. Now, first, uh, let us uh, whenever we, we solve any kind of equation, I request all of you that uh, please write down all the data that whatever given data is given, you write down one after another. Here in this problem, you see that uh, flow rate is 400 liters per minute. This is the flow rate, volumetric flow rate. And what is the C A 0 concentration? 100 millimoles of A. This I can easily convert it in moles of A per liter. Because uh, this is millimoles, if you divide by 1000, then it will be 0 0.1 moles of A per liter. Now, second case that uh, you if you see layer C B, similarly you can calculate and find out 0 0.2 moles of A per liter. So, we, 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 we try to uh, um, uh, 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 convert this millimoles to moles and the, uh, then x a the conversion efficiency is 99.9 percent. So, x a value will be 0 0.999 and k value in this equation is already given 200 moles uh, per liter inverse and minute inverse. Now, if you put these values here that here uh, with this equation we have 200 in C A minus this and this is the conversion of A, a, a uh, take place. Uh, so, this is to be deducted with C B because this is the equimolecular reaction and then we can we can find out the tau C S T R. Tau C S T R is the space time of C S T R. I told you space time. Space time means uh, that you know the time you are allowing the a particular volume of the reactor volume of the liquid uh, resides in the reactor. So, what is the space time you are giving? The this is equal to C A 0 into x a and this is the e rate equation I can put it here and then we put the data uh, all the data you can find out tau C S T R. This is coming about uh, 49.9 minutes. So, this is how you can calculate the uh, the the time required for CSTS. Now, uh, uh, once you know that uh, tau CSTR, now you our equation. What is our equation? Equation is tau CSTR equal to V CSTR by F. So uh, now, uh, so uh, if we if we already know if it is 400 liter per minute and time we have. Now, sometimes let me tell you sometimes uh, uh, some uh, when you when you have give the this unit you should be very careful what is the flow rate of this unit. Sometimes um, if it is in per day or per hour and your uh, tau C S T R is uh, in minutes. So, you have to convert in uh, convert in, in into the per minutes and then you multiply this you will get the volume of the reactor. Now, uh, repeat the problem, uh, but for a CSTR. So, uh, let, uh, let us see that uh, the this is uh, this is the conversion that uh, this is with respect to CSTR. Now, we want to show the similar type of things that we have when we can we can go for plug flow reactor. But mm, now previously we are talking about the CSTR. Now, in the plug flow reactor, your rate constant will be the same. The rate of reaction is same that we can express like this. Only the your expression is like this. Uh, I told you this is tau plug flow reactor is equal to minus DCA by minus R A. Okay. So this uh, this R A is same. The DCA I I told you what is the CA. C A equal to C A 0 into 1 minus X A. 
Now, if you if you do d c a is equal to what minus c a 0 into d x a. This is exactly so you had this minus sign. So, this will be removed this will be plus minus minus will be plus this is minus r and minus r value I can take it from here and put it in this equation like this. So, next uh, we can we can find out here that tau plug flow reactor equal to C A integration 0 to X A equal to D X A and this is the equation that we, we can write only we can uh, we can we can we can may we can take the common of C A 0. So, that this ratio will come C D 0 by C A 0 and this and um, this ratio at the initial stage is 2 we know that one is 200 millimoles another is 100 millimoles and x a is the percentage that you know fraction converted then this equation if we solve it it will come in this form so, so it is you can see it this is um, if you have then if you do the percent differentiation of this you will get uh, this particular uh, expression this is one uh, one by k c a 0 ln 2 uh, x a by 2 into 1 minus x a. Then uh, we if we put uh, that uh, uh, then values here. Now, if you look at uh, previous equation that we have uh, tau c s t r k into k value is known and c a 0 is known. So, this value if you put all these values we put here then we will get the tau plug flow reactor. The tau plug flow reactor we can easily calculate. This is coming about 0 0.3 to 3 1 minutes. So, I can just show you uh, previously that uh, when, when in, in case of CSTR we calculated it is, it is coming quite high 40 49.9 now it is coming quite less actually so volume also is coming quite less this uh, when you calculate this with the flow rate the flow rate is basically same in the uh, continuous system then uh, then we can we can find so we find that volume of the plug flow reactor is much less as compared to the to that of the CSTR so uh, in this particular presentation uh, what I try to point out, I try to point out two important aspects uh, that uh, how to analyze the batch as well as the continuous uh, reactor and uh, how to calculate the conversion efficiency uh, of the continuous process. Uh, only the only one thing I, I can highlight that uh, uh, that uh, that in the con in case of uh, CSTR there is uh, there we have continuous start tank reactor. So, it is uh, the main purpose of the hesitation to make the homogeneity in the reaction mixture, but in the in the plug flow reactor the liquid flow from one into others and when it flow one point there is no axial mixing there might be radial mixing. So, that is the if you have that pattern your uh, expression is uh, changed and with that we find out that percentage conversion for the same type of reaction is different when you up go for CSTR as well as plug flow reactor. And only uh, the batch reactor problem I, 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 I did not solve in this particular lecture that I am going to solve in the coming lecture coming uh, um, lectures that I just show you how you can find out the volume of the reactor. Now, volume that when you when you calculate the volume of the reactor I want to emphasize that first you have to find out that how much <coughs> how much uh, uh, product is to be produced per batch and how we can find out because uh, you have from the uh, if first you have we shall have to calculate what is the total time required for the batch process. Now, total time of a batch process is nothing but um, uh, batch time plus uh, your downtime. Downtime is nothing but idle time and this comprises of time required to take out the liquid from the reactor and uh, cleaning the vessels, refilling the vessels, 
because the, and this is called downtime and other way we can we can call it also idle time why idle time because uh, during this time we assume no reaction take place so uh, so this uh, time is to be added with the total time and when you get the total time so if we suppose we have a basis that uh, we want to produce 100 kg of product per day so uh, one day comprises of uh, 24 hours now you, uh, the, the, if your total time is 12 hours um, the number of batch per day will be 24 by 12 that is two batches so so per batch how uh, you have to produce 100 by 2 that is 50 kg of product per day so if you know the how much product you have to produce per batch then from that you can find out how much substrate is required per batch uh, how you can find out you can find out from the stoichiometry of the reaction also the stoichiometry of the reaction will give you the theoretical requirement but in in practice the 100 percent conversion is not taking place so we can we can assume some conversion efficiency of the process and from that we can find out that uh, that what is the exact amount of substrate required per day now when you when you find out that exact amount of substrate required per day then if you divide by initial substrate concentration then you will get the volume of the reactor thank you very much